Hey guys, it's Justin back with an engineer's perspective. I've just got a really quick sharpening tip today. So the knife is a Para 3 in Rex 45. It's a HAP 40 analog. And Spyderco hardens this stuff to 65 to 67 Rockwell. So super freaking hard. It has a less carbide volume than something like Crewware which is known for being a great sharpening steel. So in theory, it should sharpen up, you know, maybe easier than crew wear, but just because it's so, so hard, it really, it really fights abrasion. Um, even though it only has, it has under 10% carbide volume. Um, so it kind of puts, puts me in a conundrum really as to, you know, how should I sharpen this knife? And, uh, what I've found is for steels like Maximit, K390, 10V, those hard wear resistant steels, is I really, really need to take a step down to the DMT course, okay? And that's not because I can't apex it on the DMT fine, but it just takes so long and you're taking so many strokes that you just kind of end up screwing it up in the long run is kind of the gist of it. So that said, this Rex 45 with that low carbide volume can easily be sharpened on is with the abrasives that are in the Chosera stones, um, which is just alumina. And these are very hard stones, so they're pretty good for abrading super hard steels. And this 800 grit stone was doing that on this and I felt like it was developing a burr in okay time but it's really notable reduced speed so I sharpened it on the 800 went to the 3k and was like all right so there you go I kind of I felt how it was quite a bit glassier due to that high hardness quite a bit slower but the edge I got on it was kind of like eh. you know I wasn't really loving what the 3k was doing on there Fast forward, I sharpened, uh, resharpened this using the King Neo and uh, the 3K. So now the King Neo is also an 800 grit stone, just like the Chosera is, but two things. The first is that it uses uh, silicon carbide as the abrasive in there, which is a lot harder than alumina. So it actually cuts <sighs> faster might not be the perfect word but maybe more efficiently but the net result is that this stone cuts faster than this with that silicon carbide and it's a softer stone and when softer stones they'll kind of break down as you go revealing fresh abrasive and lots of slurry so this 800 grit cuts a lot faster than this Chosera 800 grit like a lot faster and uh I did the King Neo, and then I went to the 3K after that, and the edge that came up on this thing after one micron strop on uh, Balsa, ooh baby, smoking hot, smoking hot. This has been like three days, or two days since I sharpened it, but I haven't, I don't think I've used this edge on anything. So what does that mean? What am I driving at? is if you are struggling to get the edges that you are expecting, so if you finish your 3K stone and you're just sitting there kind of underwhelmed, like I really felt like it should have had a better edge off of the 3K, it's probably because you're not fully apexing the edge. And uh, that's the problem with this 800 versus this one, is sharpening Rex 45 and starting on this 800 grit stone is this just wasn't moving the steel fast enough on this to really well apex that edge. So I was getting underwhelming results later on because that's the most important step with sharpening is your first stone and creating a nice crisp apex. But when I moved up to a more aggressive stone, just like that, like magic, this 3K was giving me the edge I was expecting. So the moral of the story is, is if you're not getting good results from your finishing stone, switch to a more aggressive stone before it or add in a more aggressive stone. So you can either switch from, yeah, like the Chosera 800 to the King Neo 800 
or maybe do the same thing but add a DMT course at the beginning. And if your results improve when you do that, it's because you weren't apexing the edge correctly on your first grit. So that's the moral of the story, the takeaway, is if you change up that initial stone and all of a sudden your edge is amazing, you know you were, you were screwing it up. So just for giggles, I'll do a, a best test. All my edges, lazily sharpened edges, come out to be about 200 pretty regularly. And uh, this one was slightly better than lazy. I was certainly doing it quick. So we'll see here. I've been kind of experimenting with my methodology here. Oops. Let me turn on the light for you. You just get to watch me uh, struggle. You know what? I'm just going to use the the theme image here. Line it up nice. Tear. All right. Let's see what we get here. Slow and steady. One hundred and thirty. So that's pretty good. So I'll take that all day, every day. And that's at 12 degrees per side, that guy. Nice little polish on there, but still hazy. So there you go. If you've got those very high hardness or very wear resistant steels, try stepping down to something a little bit more aggressive. And if your edge improves, it's because you weren't apexing the edge completely. So that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.